Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make the Sedge Stitch Hot Pad. The Sedge Stitch Hot Pad is an easy and quick pattern that you can whip up and you can make this in multiple colors. As you can see here I have three different examples. I have two solid colors and in the middle I mix the two colors together. So you can definitely make this to be any color that you want. You can fit your own home decor, you can match a friend's home decor, or you can make a bunch of these in different colors for your up next upcoming craft fair. So this hot pad measures approximately seven by seven, and it, I included a hanging loop. And this is what the solid color looks like. So this is just the gray color that I used. And the other solid color is more of like a light aqua color, again with that hanging loop. And then I combined both of those colors together and I made a multicolored version. So the possibilities are endless on what you would like, if what you can do. So let's dive right into the tutorial. So for today you're going to need a size K six and a half millimeter crochet hook. I'm using my favorite Clover More hooks. And you're going to need two skeins of yarn. You can use two skeins of the same color or you can use one skein of each color. But you're going to be making this hot pad extra thick so you're going to need two skeins and you're going to hold them together. So for this tutorial, I'm using Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And this is a 100% cotton yarn. And it's a 3.5 ounce or 100 gram. It's 180 yards or 165 meters. And again, it's 100% cotton and it's a number four worsted weight yarn. And the two colors I'm gonna be using today is Dove which is a gray color and the other color I'm using is Serene Spa which is that nice light aqua color. Again you can use any cotton yarn that you would like or you can use any color that you would like. You can mix and match or you can use two of the same color. You just want to make sure that you use a double thick hot pad so that's why we're going to be using the two strands today. So let's get started on the Sedge Stitch Hot Pad. Okay, so for the Sedge Stitch Hot Pad, for mine I ended up chaining 21. And if you do want to make this slightly bigger or smaller, you just want to make sure that you have your chain in a multiple of 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 3. And keep going until you get your desired width. So again, I'm going to be making a chain of 21 for my Sedge Stitch Hot Pad. So to make a chain, you're going to do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Continue until you have a total of 21 chains or a multiple of three. Okay. When you, once you have your multiple of three or your 21 chains, let's begin row one. So for row one, you're going to make a half double crochet and a double crochet into the third chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. And you're going to count three chains from your hook. So one, two, and three. And in that third chain, you're going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that is your half double crochet. Now those skip stitches that you made at the very beginning is going to count as your single crochet. So in this stitch right here that's the top of your half double crochet and the stitch right next to it on the right, you want to place your stitch marker. That's going to be the very first stitch of your or yeah, that's going to be the very first stitch of your row. So place your stitch marker right in this chain right here. And this is going to be the top of your half double crochet. 
So next you're going to make a double crochet in that same chain. So again, yarn over your hook, go back in that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And that is your double crochet. So again, you have your double crochet, you have your half double crochet, and then you have that skip stitch which is going to count as your single crochet. So you're going to put your stitch marker right in the stitch right here. Next you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to make a half double crochet, I'm sorry, you're going to skip two chains and you're going to make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet all in the same stitch. So skip two chains, so one and two, in the chain after that, you're going to make a single half double and double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your single crochet. Next, you're going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then a double crochet, so yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So then you're just going to repeat all the way across. So you're going to skip two chains. So again, one and two, and in that next chain, you're going to make a single crochet, half double crochet, and a double crochet all in that same chain space. Again, skip two chains, one and two, and make a single half double and double crochet all in that next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across until you get to the end of your row. Skip two chains, single, half double, and double crochet into the next. And as I said, these hot pads work out very quickly as you're using two strands of yarn and that bigger crochet hook. Skip two chains, into the chain after that, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Okay, when you get to the end of your row, you should have three chains left. You're going to skip two chains, so one and two, and in that very last stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And that completes row one. So this is what row one looks like. And if you're a beginner, you want to place your stitch marker the top of that single crochet stitch that you just made. Okay, so to move on to row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And that chain one is going to count as your single crochet, so you can go ahead and move up your stitch marker into that chain one space. And in that very first stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet and a double crochet. So again, in that very first stitch, make a half double crochet and a double crochet. And again, with that chain one, you want to place your stitch marker in that chain one space. 
Next, you're going to skip two stitches. So you're going to skip the double crochet from the previous row as well as the half double crochet. And you're going to be working in the single crochet from the previous row. So skip two stitches and in that single crochet from the previous row you're going to make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet all in that same stitch. Skip two chain, I'm sorry, skip two stitches. So one and two, and in that stitch after that, make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And you're just going to repeat this all the way across until you have three stitches left. So again, skip two stitches, and in the stitch after that, make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, all in that same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And then when you get to the end, you have your two stitches and then you have your chain one or that skip stitch. So that's your chain. So you're going to go right into that chain and then you're going to make a single crochet to finish out your row. And then this is what two rows looks like when it's completed. So again, you're just going to chain one and turn. And for rows three through 14, you're just gonna repeat row two. So you're gonna chain one and turn. And then in that very first stitch, you're gonna make a half double crochet and a double crochet. That chain one, again, is gonna count as a single crochet. So make sure you put your stitch marker in that chain one so you don't miss it. You're going to skip two stitches and in that next stitch you're going to make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. You're going to repeat this across and then you're going to make one single crochet in that very last stitch. So again, I'll show you really fast. In the very first stitch you're going to make a half double crochet and a double crochet. You're going to skip two stitches one and two, and then stitch after that, you're going to make a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. You will repeat this across until you get three stitches left, and then when you get to the end, you're going to skip two stitches, and in that chain one space, you're going to make a single crochet. Again, you're going to repeat this for a total of 14 rows. So once you reach 14 rows, I will show you how to add the hanging loop onto your hot pad. Okay, so I finished 14 rows of my hot pad. And here is what my hot pad looks like. Again, I used those two different colors and I thought they turned out really nice. But you can also use two solid skeins as well. Okay, so when you get to the end of your 14th row, all you're going to do for the hanging loop is chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're going to go all the way down to the very bottom right here. And you're gonna insert your hook and you're gonna slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through everything on your crochet hook. And then I already cut my yarn, but you're gonna give yourself a nice tail so you can weave it in. And I like to yarn over and pull through one more time. And then I just like to tighten it. And then you'll go ahead and weave that tail in. But again, this is what the hot pad looks like. Now when you use the double yarn, it's extra thick. So again, if you wanted to make it smaller or bigger, you just want to change up that chain at the beginning. And you can probably get, I'm going to say maybe two, maybe three hot pads out of the skeins of yarn that I use, which again is the Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. You could probably get about two or three of these hot pads depending on the size. If you make them the same size that I did, you can definitely get two hot pads, again maybe three, depending on the size of them. And then here are what the two solid colors look like again. So it's just a very nice and easy project to make and definitely something that you can give as a housewarming gift or you can sell them at ups upcoming craft fairs. You can make them for your own kitchen or a friend or family's kitchen. So definitely the possibilities are endless and the color options are endless. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make these sedge stitch hot pad Please give this video a thumbs up, please comment below, and please share this video if you like this video. Until the next time, thank you for joining me. Happy crocheting! Bye!